hi guys welcome back to the channel so the first thing we're going to do in this bottle decoration is we're going to attach a bala onto the base and this what this does it makes it gives your bottle a good flat surface to stand on and also protects the surface that you're going to place the bottle on so this is a very important step make sure you don't miss it In this step, what you're going to basically do is apply Oho on the bottle and start wrapping the yarn around the bottle, making sure that you're leaving no spaces in between the strands so that to give our final product a very clean look and a well put together look. So make sure you're generous with the Oho, make sure you get all the parts glued and just have fun with the project. It's really simple after tying around the string on the bottle make sure you push it upwards so that you can fill any gaps that are left. The first trick that you're going to do when doing this decoration is make sure when you're wrapping the yarn around the neck the basic transition from the neck to the rest of the bottle is you tie the, the string lightly. Just make sure it touches the glue. You don't need to use a lot of force. Just do it lightly. On the finishing touches, when you're about to finish wrapping the yarn around the bottle, make sure you use a lot of glue at the bottom. What this does is it prevents the yarn from unraveling and becoming undone. And also you can go back and start filling parts which had have gaps so that when you're done with the project you don't have bottles with gaps where someone can see the green the green tint of the bottle so this is a very important process make sure you just uh, neaten your work especially if these bottles are going to be placed somewhere where the, the, the it's, they're very visible make sure you fill in the gaps make sure you use a lot of glue so that the, the piece looks immaculate when you're done I love the decorating part so the first letter we're going to do is letter L you need fabric and a sharp pair of scissors so you're going to measure out the fabric and and glue the sides having the colored outer part on top so this is what you're going to use to make the rosettes and repeat this for because this one we're going to make like four rosettes so you have to cut four strips of fabric and you have to make sure the strips are equal in that you don't have one rosette being bigger than the other so make sure you measure it out here I'm just eyeballing I think it's maybe because I've done this so much so I just usually eyeball the measurements but they're usually equal so just make sure you can either measure the fabric or you can eyeball it if you're usually pretty accurate with measurements so this is what I'm doing here um, make sure when you're gluing you glue the whole strip so that the rosettes does don't come become undone when after you fix them on the bottle so this is just a really fun process and enjoy enjoy the process while you're making this if you're aware if you're a returning subscriber welcome to the channel I'm glad to have you here I'm glad to have you watching if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel it's great to have you here make sure you subscribe before you leave make sure you give me a, a thumbs up for this video if you want to see more of these DIY videos I enjoy making them for you guys so make sure you click on that red button and also the bell so that you can get notification every time I upload the video so this is this process is how what I usually do when I'm making rosettes it's like literally uh, wrapping the fabric on up on itself but you're also twisting it so that you can create a rose 
so it's a very uh, delicate process make sure you bring it slowly don't be in a rush and glue glue the parts together so that you can have a complete glue rose and it doesn't become undone because this piece can easily become undone so make sure you be careful with that for the letter L I usually make four rosettes so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to attach them to the bottle so here I'm decorating the letter L using the rosettes that we just finished making make sure you arrange these rosettes in a straight line you want to have a really straight letter so that's that's something you need to do i usually i ball mine i think because i've done this project so many times when making orders for my clients but this is something you need to do make sure your l is straight also use a lot of glue be generous with the glue so that uh, the rosettes don't fall off and what i can advise is make sure your glue gun is on so that the glue is really hot when you're applying it onto the rosettes when it dries up it usually has a very strong bond so these rosettes can't fall off so the second process is decorating letter o and what you're going to use is we're going to use these pretty rhinestones that i bought from uh, tea room there's a building next to tea room it's called jack fashion jack fashions they have wedding shop they have wedding shops there at jack fashions it's opposite tea room so that's where you can find these rhinestones they're like mirrors they're like small tiny mirrors but they also so what i did is i drew a circle or a, the letter o I used a red red pencil so I drew the letter and now I'm sticking the rhinestones along the boundaries of that letter so that I can form the letter all using the rhinestones I don't know if you guys get what I mean but that I guess uh, you can just watch the video and see what I'm doing for the letter V I drew letter V using my red pencil and now I'm going to outline it using a glue gun and then use my yellow yarn to create a V shape. So my V is double stranded. It has two strands of yarn and I'm basically using the glue to outline it then stick the yarn on to it. So there, there is my letter V guys. For letter E, same process, I drew the letter using my red pencil, actually this is my red eyeliner which I used to draw the, the letter, yeah, so I've drawn my letter E and I'm going to use this absolutely gorgeous rhinestones to outline the letter, so this is what I'm doing here, I'm going to glue them on the boundaries of the letter, yeah, this is the process and this rhinestones are so so pretty they are freaking beautiful they are glamorous they are shiny and this is why i love i really do love using rhinestones for my project and i hope you guys have subscribed it's not like you're watching up and you guys haven't subscribed please click on that red button and subscribe i have so many diy projects coming your way and story times mukbangs everything about motherhood so make sure you subscribe please 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 so we're done with our projects and this is how it looks how gorgeous is this look at the bling look at that shine i mean this is turned out absolutely beautiful i love the outcome it's so shiny and yellow and white is such a beautiful combination if you want to learn how to make this they also offer training this is a project i did for a client so you can actually make money from selling your crafts make sure you subscribe i love you guys so much